Hey everyone, Sheila here from Life for Pets. So today we're gonna to talk about snails and can they live with betta fish? Which snail is best to live with betta fish? Can they even live with betta fish? And so we're gonna address all that today. So we have several different types of snails living with our betta fish. We have the mystery snails, ram's horn snail, and the nerite snails. All of these snails are good options to be in a tank, but not necessarily all of them are good for betta fish. Now, I actually do have all of them living with our betta fish, and we have been fortunate in that respect. However, sometimes some snails aren't suitable, or it's just that your betta fish will not accept them in the tank, or they'll go after them, especially the mystery snails, I would say probably are the ones that you would have to watch the most. And as you can see there, Minnie was actually sort of taking a look, but she decided not to go ahead and do it. The problem that can happen with the mystery snail is because their antennas are so long, as you can see there, that the betta fish will often sort of go after them thinking there may be food, or it's a good way to attack them. So that is something that you do need to bear in mind if you are thinking of a mystery snail. Now, I do think that most betta fish will accept them, especially if you do a careful introduction. I think sometimes if you just drop them straight into a tank, then they're maybe not going to accept them and they are gonna go after them. What we actually did with Jasmine here, because she is quite an aggressive, she is a female betta fish, she is quite aggressive, and what we chose to do with her, because I wanted her to live in this tank with these snails, and so what we decided to do with her is we actually floated her in a breeder box for for several days in this tank and the snails were crawling all over the box all over sort of the area that she was in and it basically just got her used to them so she doesn't pay them any attention whatsoever now I'm not saying that's going to work for every single betta fish because they are all very different but it did work in her case and I have actually done that over several I have actually done that several times before Nerite snails I do think are an excellent option. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the ones that were in the other betta fish tank and I can't see the ones in with Minnie. So I'm going to use the ones, for example, in with Belfin, our goldfish, and that is the nerite snail. Now we have the tiger nerite, which is this one here, and then we also have the zebra nerite, which is that one here. We do also have the horned nerite, that's another one there, and that's that little one there on the leaf. These are great for if you have algae in your tank particularly. Most other snails, whilst they will eat it, won't particularly make that much difference. Whereas a nerite snail, oh boy, do they make a huge difference in a tank when there is a lot of algae. So these are an excellent snail for that. They're also a great snail for betta fish. And the reason is they don't come out of their shells very far when they're moving around. So it's very, very difficult for a betta fish to actually be able to attack them or get to them. So they do tend to move a lot sl slower as well than ram's horns and mystery snails. So to me, these are an excellent option to actually have with the betta fish. Now, one thing to note is if you are gonna add snails or a snail, into your betta fish tank, you need to make sure that you do watch the water parameters because they do produce an awful lot of waste. And so you may need to increase your water changes or just do a larger water change. This tank here, as you can see, has a lot of snails in it and we do have to do a lot of water changes in it. We've even got another clutch of eggs up here, mystery snail eggs right here. And so you can see that this tank, it's got a lot of snails in and we do have to do a lot of upkeep on it as well. Another question that goes along with can betta fish live with snails is can they actually live with shrimp? And usually it's not something that I would say I would recommend because most of the time a betta fish will actually go for them in that we do have several betta fish that are quite happy to live with them and don't bother with them at all. I don't know whether it's just that they've got used to them or they're just completely not interested whatsoever. But as you can see here, we also have some shrimp with the snails 
and Minnie as well. She's trying to get into the food there, but there's just no way she's going to get into that food. So my top snail for betta fish would have to be a nerite snail, but then after that I would say ram's horn or the mystery snails. They do make a great addition to a tank, especially because they are so active. Ours are on the go all the time, moving around, and they love to eat. I just love feeding them and watching them eat. I think that's absolutely great to do. And if you've got a betta fish that will accept them, then that is even better. Now as for these snails, they can go in any community tank as long as it's a non-aggressive community tank so if you've got community tanks in general not just with beta fish but with other fish in then these snails will make a great addition to those tanks so let me know what snails you've got that live with your fish i'd be interested to read that in the comments box below don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already thanks for watching and we'll see you next time